So, let's start over. This is the new loft that I built. Well, I had it already built, but I converted it into a pigeon loft. Do you remember all my rollers that I picked up not too long ago that I had in a cage way up there on the hill? Well, I moved them. I got them all. I, uh, I vaccinated every one of them. I vaccinated the ones that were in here. So everybody's good. So I'm going to show you him. A real pretty roller. That's a male. He made it to my only Danish tippler. I was called they were Danish tumblers, but I also called, told that they weren't Danish tumblers. So I'll call it a tippler. It doesn't do tricks, but this is the only one I got left out of the ones I had from year before last at the Lancaster Pigeon Show. So actually, she's sitting on two eggs right now with him. I believe that's a hen on the right. And the speckled one, that speckled one there, and that speckled one right there, those are both hens. So, <clears throat> I got them all moved down here now. I'm going to come in here and clean this floor up. That's my next thing. After, <laughs> after I do the other 20,000 things I need to do today. Started tilling up my garden. Uh, I'll show you that. I've got birds sitting on eggs in my other loft. I'll show you that. <clears throat> I'll show you my babies. I'll tell you what I got going on with them. Because my baby chickens, my Irish piles. I got three of them in here. That feathers on their feet. What do y'all think about rollers with feathers on their feet? I've seen them before. Um, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. But there's three of them in there, like him right there, or that one right there. She's got the feathers on his feet. And that one right there, matter of fact, where's he at? Right there. Yeah. A lot of these are red and whites. And there's some white ones in here. And there's that male right there. Black and white one right there. He's hooked up with her on the right, the right speckled one. They're a pair. They're the ones that were sitting on the two eggs. And as soon as I went in to show you that eggs, they're both eggs were gone. That ain't them broke them up. But <clears throat> this is my other loft. I'm going to have just two. This has been my roller loft. And I've got my homer loft. And my white pigeons are in the same loft up top of the hill. So what I did was I vaccinated every one of them. Brought them down here. I put leg bands on every one of them, numbered leg bands. So in case I need to identify them later, I'll be able to do that. Everybody in here is done for. They're all hanging out. I guess they got a lot more room than they had up there. And I'm sure they're going to act a little funny for the next day or so because <clears throat> most times you vaccinate them, they're a little sluggish, a little funny. But anyway... I'm coming out here to put some pine needles in these nest boxes. That'll give me six, eight. That'll be plenty because I only got 14 birds in here. And they've still got it made up. I think they will now that they have actual nest boxes. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to take it up to the top of the hill and we're going to tape something else. And just in case you're curious, this is an 8x10. So it's got windows on the side. I'll show you this real quick. This is my trap. And do that and you drop it down. Here's your flight pad. They can go in and out right there. And that's that. Man, there's noise around here. I got some of it started today. That's pigeon poop. That's pigeon poop. I'll tilt around it because I'm going to take it after I finish tilling the rest of this out. All this. I'm going to spread it out here real good. And I'm going to go through it again. My little cub cadet is kicking butt. Y'all remember my John Deere from being broke down? Yeah, well, it broke down again. Bought a brand new battery yesterday and it isn't no good. I had to use a battery charger just to jump start it. My Husqvarna. Spindle went bad on it yesterday. 
Oh, but look. Stay tuned for a review of this little sucker. Got a new battery for that, the red one. My uh, four tracks 300 came from my buddy Chuck out of North Carolina, and my 420s right there. Show you something. He was being a peckerhead. This old tank got locked down. Tank, you being a peckerhead? Where you being a peckerhead? Tell me, were you being a peckerhead? Were you being a peckerhead? Two young pullets and my white rooster. My blues. And the big pregnant dog. Hey, bug. Hey, bug. Bug, did you do something bad? Did you get pregnant? German Shepherd puppies on the way. Y'all suck. So this is the cage where I had all my pigeons in. I'm going to come in here. Why did I lock it? Come in here and take these buckets down. I'm going to bust up this dirt real good. I'm going to put... A good looking stag. Another good looking stag. Put her... And them two... And these two... In that pen I just showed you where the pigeons were at. These two keep getting out. I guess they're going through the wire. One of them already got mangled by the dogs. Because it got out. So I'm going to put them up in another place. My incubator. 16 days into it. And one of my chicks already hatched. And I got it in the house. 16 days. Our mother was not due for another. Today's day 17, 8, 9, 20, 20. For another four days. Good looking birds right there, bud. Anyway, there's always a lot going on around here. I'm always tired. Always trying to keep up with all the things that need to be done. So I get all the birds moved. Get everybody set up. Feed and water everybody today. And then I'm going to get back in the garden. Isn't that a pretty blue bird? A little stag, those two stags down through there. Dark one right there. That's a blue stag, that's not black. And the other one right there. Those are both off them too. I got eggs in a incubator from these guys and off my hatches and she's laying more eggs in there again. So by the time I get this incubator hatched out, cleaned up, it'll be time to run another group of eggs. Can't let the hens run loose. Something happens to them every time. Babies all disappeared. And with the German Shepherds running around here, I'm not going to have nothing left if I did that. So I think I'll just hatch them myself. Anyway, uh, back to work tomorrow. Big shout out to all my buddies. You know who you are. Um, my throat's kind of dry. I need to go get a drink. He's rotten. He'll hurt me if I go in there. I ain't scared, though. Hey, Bug. Bug. Are you a good girl? Are you my sweetheart? Huh? The sweetest dog in the world. She's my baby. She's my, baby. She's my good girl. I love her. I love her. I love her. Look at that belly. She's getting ready to blow up, buddy. She's due, if not by the end of the week, the beginning of next week. Everybody's saying around the 8th or the 10th. I got a lot of stuff to do around here, guys. I just wanted to give you an update of what's going on. Mister's on lockdown for being a peckerhead. And everybody else is good. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to clean this pin out over here. And move those that hen and those babies in there. Y'all have a wonderful what's left of the weekend.